So the ABR is the annual brigade review. We've talked about it for some time and on the 1st of July, four regions, 244 brigades will commence a pilot to replace the Section 29 process. And it's a diagnostic tool that we'll use to really understand what's ticking in each one of those brigades, from finance to admin, to your operational capability, your training, connection with community, um, even your people, how many are responding, how many are not responding, what their skill sets are. So it's a full diagnostic test of each and every brigade. So we've got a number of districts in the south, southeast of the state, we've got a district in the southwest, the western region, and right up in the north as well. So we've got a real cross-section um, geographically and a cross-section of the type of brigades as well that will be involved in the pilot. The annual brigade review uh, has been tested at District 9 over the last 12 or 18 months and, and through that uh, testing we've got some really good feedback from the district and also brigades that were involved. And uh, what we've done is um, streamlined uh, the questions and, and provided more evidence uh, in the annual brigade review uh, to make it more user friendly. So it'll be able to be uh, uh, utilised by all brigades uh, and all districts uh, in an easy way. So with having an ops officer present at this ABR with our brigade and BMT members, we're able to all openly discuss and understand from an ops officer point of view, a BMT point of view and a firefighter point of view of what the best direction to take our brigade is going to be. And the ability for the people or the members to actually see what questions are involved and then to be able to openly debate on it and to answer where they believe our brigade's travelling, not just um, not just the BMT saying this is where we are, but you know, brigade members actually having an input themselves outside of what the BMT is saying. The feedback's been overwhelmingly positive by brigades, uh, but also importantly the district management team, our staff supporting volunteers. It's the first time that we've really been able to capture uh, at a district level, region level and at state level how our brigades are travelling. So the fact that we have a, a conversation with a brigade, we work through, we provide them with data, statistics on their performance, and we have a conversation about how they're going, and then we foster all that into one tool of which we can drill down into that data to assess that.